All right, so tonight I'm out again uh, at Luke's Mountain. Uh, the forecast tonight is for 67 mile an hour gusts. The highest I've ever measured tilting has been 58. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something a bit over 60. So look, hopefully this video will really deliver and uh, you'll really enjoy it. So thank you for watching. So here just regarding the tent setup, I mean, I just got down really uh, as low as possible. I mean, this is a wind speed. I mean, it really, really felt uh, every single bit of it. Just really assembling the poles here at the moment. And I had one of the tent straps around my wrist here so that it just couldn't go anywhere. Uh, and at the moment I'm really just staking that out. And that's the tent just ready to go in regards to the staked out. And I actually triple pegged the front stake out point in the vestibule so that I'm 100% sure nothing can um, get pulled out. And really the tent is just secured by clipping from the ground up. And I'm working here on one of the guy lines into the wind just to support the pole at a very, very early stage. And you can see there's some other, some other guys are in there too at the moment. And then it's just a matter of clipping. Now I really had to push down in the pole. The wind force was so high. And I had to really push hard down in the pole to get the final two clips in the front of the tent. And you can see I'm clipping the front of the tent on the windward side pretty much uh, first. And then just double checking the guy lines and then going around to the back of the tent and starting to clip them from the back and again pushing down in the pole to make the clip work. And you can see here I'm in a lot of force again to push that pole down. And just a few more, a few more clips to go. And that's us, you know, nearly there at the moment. Tent's just all clipped. Uh, I just have to pull the sort of ventilation cover on. And you can see now the ventilation cover is on and that's a tent up, ready to go um, in pretty much 50 mile an hour winds. One other thing that I did do is all the zippers were pulled right down and secured with a zipper, a zipper toggle. So that pretty much, I must say, was one of the hardest pitches I've done. But it just was really, really difficult. Um, and you can probably just see, you know, if I bring my legs flat, this is a sort of deformation on the vestibule. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook the inner a little bit and just pull that back so that it can actually cook. So definitely so far, looks look it's looking like the mountain is really delivering. Uh, the gusts at the moment are only meant to be about 35, and they're actually up at 45. Uh, like it's really, really, really windy. And as I said, it was a fair challenge getting the tent set up, but the tent is all set up. And I must say, no, I went for a minute. You know, it's really, really comfortable. And this is really just the advantage of this size of a tent. Uh, I'm, I've actually got my rucksack. Because the vestibule is getting deformed quite a lot, uh, I've actually got my rucksack and my shoes and pretty much everything actually just in the tent. But that's, um, that's no issue because I've, I've easily got the space for sitting up, you know, to actually do that. So for, for those of you that haven't maybe watched uh, some of my other videos, the tent at the moment is orientated vestibule into the wind, and that's the way that Hilly Bergs say to do it uh, when it gets really windy. I kind of think the cutoff is about 50 miles per hour, uh, and that's what we're having at the moment. But you can definitely see the vestibule is, is really deforming, and I've got that well pulled out tight, so there's not much more I can do about that. And you, know, you just have to manage it. just detached the BRS stove here from the canister. I don't like keeping them attached, uh, just from a safety perspective. And particularly if that's sitting on the canister and there was maybe a massive gust and the vestibule just come in, you know, it could obviously get cut by this. So, all going good so far, but I mean, it's insanely windy. I mean, it really, really is. As soon as I finish my pasta, I'm going to get out and measure the wind speed again, see if we can get it up over 50. Alright, it's pretty mad outside. Uh, I'm just using the mic like this uh, to try and kill the wind noise. But look, I've been out and measured the wind, and the highest I can measure the wind is like 50.5 miles per hour. And I mean, you can see here the vestibule is just completely deforming. And I've that pulled out pretty tight. I mean, it's just one of those things in high winds. I mean, it's not really a criticism. 
um, and earlier on I had the tent pulled back. So my thoughts, I mean, while I do want to get and measure that Magic 60, I mean, it's a pretty mad night, you know. Uh, I can't really remember for a while being out in any nights any, any worse than this. Uh, the tent is doing absolutely fine, but like, it's just putting it under a large strain, you know, it really is. And these tents are expensive, uh, and I love my gear. So uh, I think after tonight, I'll camp in a more sheltered location, which I probably should have done tonight anyway. But I mean, that's just part of, part of the video and part of what part of I want to bring to YouTube. Something that's just pretty, uh, pretty extreme, and you can definitely see that there's no doubt that's just exactly what it is. Okay, so I've been outside and it's insanely windy, but 60 miles per hour is going to elude me. 50, 58.5. Uh, I mean, it is mad and it's just, you know, realistically, if that's the sort of speed, it's impossible to stand out there and just get it windy enough uh, just to get that gust, to get that magic number. You know, but it's, it's really, really windy, and it's probably the windiest that I've ever been out in. Uh, I've measured 58 before, but it, it just feels more than that. I mean, it's really, really mad. So, look, I'm going to knock off and uh, until the morning, and I will obviously film if something happens or I can get the magic 60 mile an hour gust. It's almost six o'clock in the morning and actually last night I did have some sleep which is really really surprising. Um, it's pretty clear at the moment, it's not completely light yet but I've just added some lights uh, for the video and it kind of makes the rest of the tent look darker. But the tent has been absolutely fine, I mean it really really has. It's um, it's lashing rain outside so I've got a waterproof with me so I'm going to get wet uh, walking down, there's no doubt about that at all. The wind direction has changed slightly so it's sort of hitting the tent you know, from this side and it's starting to invert in the pole a little bit. Uh, and it's to get windier in the next couple of hours. So do you know what, you know, enough is enough. Uh, I have actually enjoyed it, it's been a good enough experience. But I think I'll sort of, I'll stop when I'm ahead. When I'm ahead. You know, you gotta remember, all tents are portable structures. And out in 60 mile an hour winds, you know, 60 mile an hour winds can cause structural damage to houses. You know, and a tent has stood up in conditions that I honestly feel um, plenty of other tents would, would have failed. You know, there's no doubt about that. I mean, it's not perfect, but you know, once it gets to this sort of weather, you're going to lose some level of comfort in the tent. And I actually slept with my head down at this end last night, and I had no real issues at all. I was relaxed enough, and I wasn't, you know, too worried. So as I said, I'm going to quit now and head on down to the car. I'm not sure if I'll do any more filming outside. I mean, I might get my phone out and film a little bit, but it is, you know, lashing rain. You know, once I get out, it's a priority to get a tent down. Um, these tents are well, one really amazing feature is a clip system and I can just undo the clips from the top and gradually lower the tent and keep all the guy lines out and it just secures the tent and it means I shouldn't get tent damage when I'm coming down. So look, thank you for watching. Uh, next video I'm afraid will definitely not be as extreme. I hope that you have enjoyed this one. Every time you look at me, I know you see my knees going.